Good morning, everyone. Um, very honored to do the first uh, Rotterdam Creative Mornings. Um, I didn't know what it was, but uh, I thought, well, it was something in the morning and creative. I'm like, oh, no. And then I saw how ambitious it, it is, and I really like the scale of it and, um, and the fact that it's uh, all around the world. Um, it was also very nice to talk to Jolien, of course. She has... Um, um, yeah, she was in my house. There was she was everywhere in my house. That was uh, unbelievable, eh, Julie. And uh, and um, <laughs> yeah, you were. Yeah, you were even in the bedroom. <laughs> not in the bed. Not in the bed. Okay, but there were a lot of people uh, with me, so um, with us. <laughs> And um, and then I thought, well, then I come uh, to your place. And uh, thanks for uh, inviting us. Um, 75B is, um, I don't know what it is. And I started the company with um, uh, Robert and uh, Rens Muis. Um, you can say his name is Rens Maus, And my name is Peter Fox. So Maus and Fox are still uh, around. And um, we work now for 18 years. And, um, well, let's start this... Um, this humility thing. <laughs> um, I like that uh, subject because it's the relation between, in, in my profession, between the client and, and, uh, and ourselves. And I didn't like the, uh, the word humility. Um, it's a very uh, heavy word. It's uh, used in, um, in religious uh, contexts very often. And, um, it has to do with a, with an upper god or with 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 a higher power, and you should obey that. And um, well, I, I'm not the one doing that, so uh, I'm not a I'm not especially a humble guy in that sense. I I behave myself and uh, I try to be nice to to all of you. Um, and this is very hard for me, actually. Uh, <laughs> um, because I, I, I also expect, uh, I expect you to be nice for me. And if that's not the case, then there's something wrong. And then quickly things go out of hand. Um, I, I, I have a, s a couple of um, uh, cases that I want to show you. Um, first one is Row Theater. It is um, a theater here in the center of Rotterdam with uh, experimental plays. And um, we, we, decided, we were asked to do uh, logo design. And we presented um, this logo, and they didn't like it. And then, well, I, I was like, OK, I can understand. So we presented it uh, the, the other week. A uh, week later, we presented, um, we had to present another logo. And we presented this again. <laughs> because uh, if, you, if people sleep uh, uh, for a, a couple of days and think on it, then maybe they begin to like it in their in their mind. So you don't never, never um, uh, give up on your own ideas. That is something that a client can uh, be very, um, very uh, persuasive in. But you should stick to your uh, to your ideas. And this is um, this is. Uh, it was turned down, and then a specialist came, and they had to uh, think with the road theater what they thought of it, and they didn't like it. So the other week, we had to present it again, uh, another logo, and we presented this. And then they were like, yeah, they were really irritated, and we were like not humble to their question. We did what we thought was right. And then the uh, creative director, Alice Zandwijk, she th thought, well, if they are so stubborn, it must be a good logo. So she said, okay, 
present it to the whole creative team of the Row Theater, and if they like it, then you can um, use the logo for our for our theater. And then we're like, oh my God, presenting to 90 people, that is, that is the most horrible thing you can do. And we said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we made a Silk Street t-shirt with the logo and um, uh, we, we said to the, to, the, to the theater that they are not the ones judging um, the logo because it's the audience that should go to the road theater that has to judge the logo. So, the, so they were the, the wrong people to judge it and we said that and one of the uh, artists stood up the, um, and he said, uh, he screamed Ajax, which is the, uh, um, the football club of Amsterdam of course and, um, and it was very hilarious and everyone was cheering and applauding and then we threw in the t-shirts with the logo and, uh, and it was the unanimous chosen. <laughs> so, and then the Row Theater logo was born. <laughs> this is the, the, the exact day that it happened and I uh, invited them to come outside and smile, but also um, at the same time, yeah, these cliches of theater, I really like the, star the starting point of, uh, of this. And then we were also, <coughs> we had our freedom to do posters with, with, with no information, only the logo to present it. And um, um, this is the strongest moment, I guess, for, this, uh, for their communication. And, and later on it became more and more diffuse and now it's, now it's, I don't know what it is now. Yeah, this is our, some stages of design. You start and then, I really like that one. They wanted, of course, the big actor in the, in the, um, in the uh, poster. So this is also like, uh, this is a compromise. I hate the compromise, but I like the fact that Jack didn't want to put a, a hamburger in his mouth because he's addicted to food and he doesn't want to have a hamburger in his mouth because then he's really uh, paranoid. And I said, okay, then I leave, then you don't have a poster. And then he said, okay. And then, but he was dripping all over with tomato sauce. And then he, had, he said to me, now I have to explain it to my wife. How do I do this? Yeah, I show you some examples of how, um, how simple we try to do the designs and not, not to uh, take too long uh, of a time to, to make a, a poster. So you do a sketch, you make it in a, in a computer and you have a poster. And, don't, um, and, and we don't show the, the whole process to the client. I show it to you right now. This is the process. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell don't tell anyone <laughs> huh? I really like those posters these are the only ones I like this the, I don't know why but um, they're so negative <laughs> and it's for a theater play and uh, yeah I like that that contrast So yeah, humble is um, being modest or grounded, or and it, and it comes from that we are from the earth and they are from uh, heaven, and we have to behave. And uh, oh no, please don't do this. And it is uh, and and it's in contrast to nar narcissism and pride. And I, I, pride is also something that you cannot be. And I I tend to be pride of what I proud of what I do. Not proud that I'm this tough, cool guy, but proud that I even, even can achieve this because of this tiny little man that I am in, in my heart, you know? Like I, and then I can achieve it, and I, I'm, I'm proud of that for myself, not for you guys, but for myself. Um, also, the relationship between a client and, uh, and uh, a graphic designer in this case is that you can also present things to a client that they don't know about. Uh, this is a, um, a stamp we, we sent to um, Julius Vermeulen, who is the head of, uh, of the uh, post-stamp uh, department. 
And he put this in his drawer and 10 years later he comes back. He had uh, our idea, he said, okay, let's make a post stamp out of this. 10 years later, so you should also be patient and, uh, and, <laughs> and trust, trust your ideas, you know? Like it can be a week, can be 10 years. <laughs> And I, 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 uh, we really liked it, and we called him, we said, yeah, let's make this uh, post stamp. He said, yeah, difficult, difficult, and then suddenly he is this, okay, oh, we don't know what post stamp we have to make now. Oh, I have a, uh, this is a fax, actually. This is when we people uh. faxed stuff. Also for this guy. Um, I, I liked that, that little drawing in the left, I, I liked it, it was, I loved that man and uh, I wanted him to be alive and then I sent it to, again to Julius and he loved it too, but he, but he thought it was, it was childish and, uh, and I thought, well, let's do it for the child stamps, and, um, but that was not commercial enough because post stamps have to be sold because nobody buys them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> But I wanted to have this post stamp, you know, even when it's not used for as a post stamp, my, my children use it to paste on uh, wh wherever, <coughs> because they don't know the worth of a post stamp. We know, we are humble to the post stamp, you know, <laughs> because y you have them in a drawer somewhere, you know where they are, but you never use them, but oh, you have to be careful because there's, this is value. And this is no value, this is a sticker, and it's really fun to, uh, to use, and, I, I, uh, and, and it's, and it's it's, it's actually here, you can order it online, the little fellas. And there you see some studies for the, the, the coloring because they didn't dare to print it on uh, PMS Pantone coloring. It was too excited for them. They were so used of printing full color. And I, 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 then I'm not humble to a client. I say, you're a bunch of amateurs, you know, like, uh, you used to print in the 70s and the 80s, you used to print on, with Pantone colors and you used to have the best graphic designers like Dick Bruna from uh, uh, Miffy and Nijntje and you used to, uh, to, uh, to be humble to them and now this is this marketing strategy bureaus that say yeah we need more flowers because flowers sell and post stamps need to have flowers. <laughs> And uh, th this is a ridiculous world we live in nowadays with communication and, and um, I, I the quality of graphic design is, is amazing. You use that, use that. And I try to, and then I had to do hand things at the printers, print my own post stamp on the printer uh, here in the local printer in Rotterdam, show it to them with a, with a FedEx, show it to the French printer because it was printed in France. Then they believed me and then it was printed in Pantone colors. This is a <coughs> example or a sketch that I sent and no reply whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> because they now use a one and a two as a postal uh, instead of uh, euro value. They use one is uh, is uh, is the little stamp and two is the is the the heavy stamp. I I I like this word better than being humble, like e egotism or egoism, and. Um, um, I like uh, using your own strength of your own force to get something realized. But, but you shouldn't be so egoistic that people are going to hate you, you know? That is not going to work. So you should play with this. You have to believe in yourself. You have to play to a client uh, to be humble. You do obey, but you sneaky find your way, your ego must survive, you know, like you have to pr protect your own designs and you don't need to listen to the client because they don't know, they came to you because they don't know. So you advise them and you think of uh, the, the best thoughts, that, the best things that can help that, uh, that client because you, you are working for the client, never forget it, but the client has an audience or a viewer and this is where you work for. So the client must trust you talking to their viewers, and I really like that, that they trust me for this. This is like the assignment that everyone that, that is uh, here in Rotterdam likes to do, and we were at the academy and we always wanted to do the, 
the film festival identity, of course. It, for us, it was like uh, we discussed it all the time. And um, um, what I wanted to say is that we even, yeah, we even forged our passes to get into the film festival where we at the Art Academy, and we showed it when we were asked to do the logo design or the identity design. We showed it. We showed how much commit, com, uh, committed we are to this uh, assignment, and we worked for for so long to find the right um, tiger. The tiger is um, uh, a, is is a, a reference to the East because the films of the film festival are always um, um, more uh, from Eastern countries than the West than American. So it's it's like this um, East West. Uh, Film festival. It's more films of Iraq, Iran, uh, Afghanistan, India, uh, Korea. It's more exotic in that sense. And they have the tiger because the tiger, Hubert Balls came up with the tiger. He was the first, uh, the founder of the film festival. He said, yeah, we need the tiger as a symbol. And we, this, these are some sketches. This is not even the final. <coughs> This is the final tiger because this tiger is uh, also uh, related to the typography and they, they all uh, come together. The typography is a little bit uh, related to the subtitles of uh, movies. And we, we had the idea that people could really draw the tiger themselves. So it's in the first reactions where the tiger is really childish, we hate it, what did you do with it? We liked the previous uh, tiger of uh, Max Kisman, the, the, the illustrated uh, character looking backwards. And w uh, what did you do with it? And um, I was at, uh, at the supermarket, a, a guy came to me, was really aggressive, saying, hey, what did you do with the tiger? <laughs> <laughs> and that was uh, really heavy And in the beginning. The tiger, everyone hated this tiger, and, yeah, and, and people loved it. I always think it's a good, good thing when people really hate it or really love it. And, well, they really hated it because this guy was really aggressive in the supermarket. I said, hey, uh, go to the film festival. They are the clients. We're just the graphic designers. <laughs> and now people uh, that are, were really, um, like, complaining to us, they, are, they said, oh, we're sorry. It's actually quite a good, a good thing. They have to get, had to get used to it. These are some variations of the years that we made it. And this is the most recent where you try to uh, convince the, also the, the client to use a, a good coloring. Um, but it's so expensive nowadays, you don't even find uh, a printer because it's all um, systemized, it's all uh, full color. And if you want to have another color, then you are paying a really a lot of money for it. So being being uh, yeah being proud of pride, I uh, I like it as long as you um, as 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 you do it for your own pleasure and not for uh, not not showing off to to people. Not not yeah, it, it, you should have it a little bit to to let the, the client feel that you are really in uh, that you're really committed to the to the and 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 you're also um, uh, you have. Uh, yeah, you, you feel good, and they feel good because they see you, uh, you have it controlled. It can also be, you can also be uh, uh, having difficulties with the, with the client because they don't want to pay you. It's very simple. They want the identity, but they don't want to pay you, or they pay half of what you suggested, or or they, they don't want to sign, but they want you to... And then there's a deadline of uh, here. This is um, a design for a club in Rotterdam, a pop podium, uh, a, a venue. And um, they said, uh, yeah, we want you, you're so good, and we want the identity. Because you did film festival, and uh, the architects really like you. And uh, so we sent... The, uh, an estimate, and they said, well, that's way too expensive. That's, uh, that's twice the amount we have, even uh, we only have one third, and um, well, then we thought, we don't do anything. You can also decide to don't do anything. So we didn't do anything. 
And two weeks before the venue opened, they said, well, you didn't do anything, and uh, why not? And I said, yeah, you don't want to pay me. <laughs> and then they said, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, but we're opening this club, and it's very expensive, and the architect needs to be paid, and everything. Yeah, OK, and the graphic designer, you know, or the whatever. <laughs> this, the bureau who does the identity. So, and that's, that's us. And then, yeah, no, 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 yeah, but we don't have the money. OK. No, and then they went, uh, went, and then I thought, well, let's make the, 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 let's call them up and say to them, we, we already made the design, so come to our studio and uh, see um, if you like it. And he said, yeah, I'm coming. And then Renz and I, uh, I said to Renz, oh, uh, uh, we, didn't, we didn't do anything yet, so he's, in, <laughs> he's here in 20 minutes. <laughs> And this is a cowboy story, of course, but because you have it in your mind from the beginning that he is calling you or sending you an email, he, you're thinking about uh, Annabelle in this case. You're in your bed and you're thinking, what should it be, what should it be? So then I, he, he said, he were, in 20 minutes, I took some A4 papers and some uh, pencils, we made it, he came in and he said, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Yes, uh, this was a very cool, uh, uh, we were honest to him. We said, okay, we, we made it on your way here. And, um, and, he, and he really enjoyed that. He's a very, he likes uh, quick working and he likes that. You know, he's not afraid of uh, you don't having a process or whatever. It is cultural, you have to have this, all these ideas on, about things. And um, here we didn't have to. So this was an opening campaign, and um, um, a lot of people hated it, and it's ugly, and, and I really like that it's ugly, because I like ugly things, because I am ugly. So this is, this is a funny thing to work with, with ugliness, you know? Uh, ugliness is way better than beauty, because beauty is boring, you know? This, this, this is far away, you cannot reach it, it is out of your reach. If I go to... Which girl? No, I am not going to talk about it. So I'm not going to make it, you know. I already have a, a nice wife, so uh, I like ugly things. <laughs> Mary. You, you didn't see this yet but uh, on the streets, but this is um, when they don't have the money to pay us. What do they do? They asked us. I said, oh, that's an honest question. You, you don't have money, but you want to do something yourself. Then we make a format in which you can work. So we made this, uh, we trans, oh, how, how do you say it? Uh, WhatsApp uh, kind of feed or iMessage kind of feed in which Annabelle talks to her friends and invites them over. And inside you can, you can draw and make your own drawings. And you can also uh, WhatsApp her or... Oh yeah, and we need a logo design on the roof and uh, it needs to be done the, by the afternoon because the, the guy who makes it wants to do it this weekend. Holy, <laughs> that doesn't happen at a, at a big company, you know, and we're used working with huge companies. Now, of course, we're also used to doing this, but also the bigger ones and then they take months to do this design and but this took a week and for me it took three hours to make it I was it was a huge responsibility and and the the, the wink should uh, go uh, on and off when the trains come by but that doesn't work of course yet <laughs> so I believe in this difficult word <laughs> I'm gonna not pronounce it <laughs> And this is maybe why it doesn't uh, stand, because it's too difficult to uh, pronounce, you know, like... Uh, but there's a more simple version. Equalism. And, um, yeah, it reflects the natural state of humanity. It's just behave yourself to one another, be kind. Uh, the things we learn our children to not... Uh, uh, bump in each other's faces and uh, because the other one doesn't like it of course if you if you hit somebody in the face the other person says i don't like this you know so you should really be normal to another person as if you are normal to yourself 
that kind of easy s uh, Sesame Street thing. And that relationship with the client is your best relation. Your best clients is the, are the persons that you are, well, friends, it's difficult because it's a professional relationship, but you should really be uh, respecting each other. And, and if you find those clients, those you can take your whole life. Uh, we have clients that we work for now for 20 years on a row, and they're still friends of us. And this is the best relationship, and th this, this doesn't have to do anything with, uh, with uh, uh, being humble or, uh, or humility or whatever. It's just being equal. I really uh, like that. There in Wikipedia there's even a logo, uh, but it's a, it's a bad logo, but there's a logo made for this uh, equalism. If you decide to, um, to or if you're thinking about an ID but they, you, you, your client doesn't want it, just make it. Just make it. And we, um, this is about the process of our working, it says, isn't this something uh, I was thinking more like this? This is about Renz and me talking to each other uh, on a process of uh, making whatever. And uh, we like that process, you know? Yeah, working with people is, uh, is, is so much better than working alone, so, uh, because you can easily reflect. And, this, uh, yeah. and these are just works two meters high, 150 wide. Uh, Los Angeles by night, a work. <laughs> Some tronies, this is, in, this is in tent, in an exhibition space in Rotterdam. This is made with paint and a, and a, and a broom. Very simple, but very effective. Uh, yeah, this is about a little bit about that humility thing, the religion, the higher power. These are it's like combination of Christianity and uh, uh, the Islam, like uh, like and, le and and very dark. So I, I don't I, I hate religion. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I, I, I but I love uh, being equal to each other. So I like people to be normal instead of thinking about what's next. We see what's next. If you are nice and there's something, then maybe we see each other again. I don't believe it. <laughs> this is a project I have to go to when we are all going to work. I go to this work. This is going to be installed in um, Museum uh, Kranenburg in Bergen. <coughs> the north of Holland, and it is um, a, a billboard, uh, like a Stonehenge billboard uh, thing, and I don't know what it's all about, uh, but I really wanted it to be realized, and there's two coming, uh, one in the front uh, garden and one in the back, and um, it's opening May 3rd, so please come to Bergen, it's, uh, it's a group exhibition with Volker de Jong an artist uh, we know for 18 years also as a friend and we work with him. And, and he invited us to do this uh, group exhibition with a couple of other people, but I don't want to tell him all. You should come to the, to the opening, May 3rd. This is the process of uh, making it. And I hope that we are a little bit more friends now. <laughs> Thank you.